Hey, good morning. It's Councillor Glenn here. I'm on Stittsville Main Street. I am, uh, how to describe it, just south of um, just south of Abbott, about midway between Abbott and Bray. And um, the reason I'm here today is because this is roughly the location of a new crosswalk, and construction is going to begin on that uh, on May 24th, which is two weeks from Monday. What does construction mean? Well, basically, it's to adjust the curbs. They need to put what's called a curb cut. So this is where the curb flattens out uh, so that uh, someone who's in a wheelchair or someone who is uh, pushing a stroller, they can get down onto the, uh, from the sidewalk to the roadway for the crosswalk. Uh, we're doing a crosswalk here because, as you can also see, there's some new development happening. Uh, we have uh, uh, a lot more shops and services that we expect are going to set up here over the next few years. And this crosswalk is located very close to the municipal parking lot. So it's making it a, an easier place to cross over the street. So a better way to support more walkability here on Stittsville Main Street. One of many things to come here on Stittsville Main. A uh, bunch of things I want to talk about today. We're talking about pedestrian crosswalks. A good reminder to talk about uh, traffic coming. I mentioned this last week and there's a new blog post on my website. Uh, the city is in the process of deploying and redeploying traffic calming measures. So these are things like the flex stakes, the speed boards, the delineators, the markers on the side of the street. Um, these are really important because they bring speeds down by five to 10 kilometers an hour on residential streets. And it makes a big difference for pedestrian safety. So you're gonna see those out all over the place. Uh, we've added some new ones this year, particularly on collectors and major collectors. So these are kind of higher order, busier roads in our community tried to look at things like parks and schools and other locations uh, where we're seeing speeds and where we can make a difference and make things safer for, uh, for people who are out walking and cycling. If you have a street or an idea where we could use some uh, traffic calming, send me a note at glenn.gower at ottawa.ca and we'd be happy to have a look, on that, at, look at that. We do a speed study, we look at the conditions of the street and we gauge whether or not uh, flex stakes or speed speed boards or whatever it might be might make a difference. Um, we're also collecting your feedback on missing links for cyclists and pedestrians in Spitzville. It's part of an update to the city's active transportation plan and wow we have received just a ton of emails I'd say around 70 75 emails so far with your suggestions about where there could be an extra bit of sidewalk where there could be a pathway connection where there could be an improvement uh, to, to a pathway or sidewalk with, with lighting, for example. These are the kinds of feedback that we want to see, we want to hear about, and appreciate people who've uh, mailed us things so far. Some really thoughtful responses. Some of you have sent maps and uh, some really detailed ideas. So I appreciate that. And I want to invite you to attend a meeting we're doing with city staff on May 11th. That's Tuesday night, where we are going to be uh, talking about how the city is updating the active transportation plan where the funding comes from, how your feedback is being used. So that's Tuesday, May 11th. I believe it's 6.30. Uh, you can find the information on my website in any case. A uh, bunch of things I wanted to mention, most of them around development in Stittsville. We have had um, a number of new or updated development files, as you know, over the past few weeks. There are three, uh, three updates that have come in this week. One is 1919 Maple Grove. Uh, this is, um, I guess you'd say, on the west part of the existing Maple Grove. The proposal is for a mixture of uh, townhomes and a low-rise four-story apartment building. They submitted that back in 2019, I believe, and they've submitted revision number two based on comments from the public, from myself, and from uh, city planning staff and other city staff. There have been some big changes to that one, a better alignment of the uh, where it meets the John Woods pathway, which is good heading north-south. Also, they have a four-story apartment that they, um, they're gonna phase as the last phase when there's some more road infrastructure in the neighborhood, so that's good. We also got an update for 1518 Stittsville Main Street, just a little bit down the road there, uh, across the street from Quitters and uh, uh, right next to the Trans-Canada Trail. So they've done a bit of a redesign. One of the things there is to provide more space for the sidewalk along the street, which is a good thing. You can check out those updates on my website. The other major development update was around 5,000 Robert Grant. We used to refer to this as 1,000 Robert Grant, but there's been an update to the municipal addressing. So it's now 
5000 Robert Grant Avenue. This is at the corner of Robert Grant and Abbott and the Trans-Canada Trail, roughly. It's a very big development. It's uh, just over 500 apartments put forward by Lapine. Uh, it's coming to planning committee on Thursday and then city council at the end of the month. This is a really controversial one, and I know people have a lot of concerns still about this. I have shared my comments on, uh, on my website, glengower.ca. Um, Lapine has made a lot of changes to their original plan. The site um, is zoned right now for nine stories across the entire site. So as of right, this is a, a planning or legal term that's used, as of right, they can build nine stories across from two-story townhomes. That means basically without going through any kind of uh, planning committee or council approval. Um, that would have been a big loss for the Livery Street community to have a nine-story building across from two-story townhomes. So we have convinced Lapine to make some changes. The other thing, because they're near a future transit station, uh, they are allowed to apply for height above and beyond the nine stories. Basically, any property within 400 meters of a transit station uh, or planned future transit station in Ottawa um, is allowed to do more height than what the zoning permits. So that's why uh, this is going through planning committee and then city council. Um, my strategy has been to delay that extra height as long as possible because right now the transit station is very far into the future, at least 10 years in the future. So as a start, we've uh, got Lapine to hold off on the tallest building until after Robert Grant is built from Abbott Street to Hazeldean Road. And uh, we're working on some more conditions we can add to that to see if we can push that out even further. So more to come on that one. But please read my comments at glengower.ca uh, and you can see more information about the project. Also how you can make a presentation or, or send a letter to the committee if you want to get involved there. Uh, this week on Monday evening, we have a meeting about 1620 Maple Grove Road. This is a small uh, townhome development in Ridgecraft's new neighborhood off of Maple Grove, just along the, uh, the Pool Creek. So I hope you can attend that if you're interested and live in the area. I think that's it on, uh, on development for today. This week we have Built Heritage Subcommittee, we have the Planning Committee I mentioned, and we have City Council. Tomorrow is Mother's Day, if you haven't forgotten. Um, just uh, not too far here from Pretty Pots, one of Stittsville's flower shops. And it'll be a busy day for them today on Mother's Day weekend. The other thing I wanted to mention is we're, we're near Quitters. Quitters is owned by Kathleen Edwards. Kathleen has been working with uh, Shepherds of Good Hope. Uh, she's released a new cover song of a John Lennon tune called Love. It's part of a, a fundraising and awareness campaign for the Shepherds of Good Hope. So thank you, Kathleen, for doing that. And uh, I, I think you can find this on Kathleen's webpage. Do a search for um, Shepherds of Good Hope and you'll be able to find this uh, program that they're running. And I hope you check that out. A really good initiative. And uh, Shepherds of Good Hope and, and a lot of the, one of many organizations who are doing some very difficult work right now in the pandemic and I uh, hope you can find a way to support them. It's kind of a chilly, rainy, nasty day today. I hope it brightens up. I hope you get a chance to uh, get some fresh air and get outside despite the rain. It was good to chat with you today and uh, I'll talk to you next Saturday. Take care. Bye.